Happy, happy Monday, people. It's Nicolasa, and I am back. And we did go away this weekend. It was awesome uh, for our daughter's 21st. And now we are back. And tonight, I am leaving to go to Atlanta. So, I wanted to come on and show you the last package that I did get today. Um, I do have one coming, but I had her wait to send that one to me. Isn't this crazy? So that I, you know, because I'm not going to be here to accept it. So I hope you are enjoying this holiday week. Um, I am off of work as of today. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited. Um, this is from Poshmark. And if you notice here, as soon as I get in here, I have no wrapping paper and it's just stuffed in a box. You know how I feel about that, okay? But I'm still gonna get in here, all right? I do want it protected and wrapped. I am in a suburb of Buffalo and a lot of times things are put on the porch or whatever and this could very well get damaged if it gets wet. So even if I'm not in a suburb, I really don't like, you know, this being, I mean, I'm sorry, if I'm not in a place like Buffalo, um, I really don't like this not having any protection at all. Even a bag would, you know, a plastic bag would suffice. So this is the um, out back, guys. Um, I really, really like this. I saw a piece of paper over here, so I'm just going to grab that. I really, really like the Outback style. Now, the Outback uh, saddle bag, I think is what it's called. There is a briefcase that is like this, but the briefcase is actually like a purse. It's really not like your classic, you know, go to work briefcase. And I was going to get that, but then I thought to myself, you know what? This one is the same and it's more like a hobo and I really like hobos solid solid brass toggle with braided detail please tell me where you can get this today please tell me where you can get this today you can't all right you open it up and underneath you have a little flap to even protect your front uh, pocket which is amazing okay you open that up or look in there that is a beautiful beautiful bag and then I think this color um, is obviously um, let me see I don't know what color the um, leather is officially I really don't um, but it's your classic bag classic color with Dooney in fact I have a key I have a coin purse that matches this my mother bought it for me it was one of my first Dooney pieces I have the solid gold or the solid gold solid brass duck the duck is in amazing condition with not seemingly one scratch on it. All right, um, obviously you have your removable straps. You can pop this and remove it. And, and this is in beautiful, beautiful vintage condition, beautiful. The back of it has your um, pocket with, you know, your, your button here pocket that is really, too, really easy to get into. And of course, cause I said that it's not gonna work. Um, in one of my other videos, I kind of told you guys to kind of go through your things and make sure you wipe them down. This one needs nothing. It needs nothing. I might, I have a little edge wear, as you can see. Um, I might have to just once over with a baby wipe, but that's about it. And again, I just do that just because this was sitting in a, in a box, you know, unprotected and I like to have it clean. I have a little edge wear, but nothing major. I'm going to make sure she's uh, nice and moisturized a little bit. You guys, I found out, let me get in here and as I talk, I'm gonna tell you. I found out that the all weather leather process is a process by which Dooney shrinks the pores down of the leather to the point where it closes them and it makes it waterproof. So that's why you have the duck because the idea is water will be falling off of this like it does a duck's back. Isn't that cool? I, I thought that was really, really cool. So I wanted to share that with you. Let me bring this closer. I got something right there. Okay, just a little wear right there. Okay. All right, get in here. You see my um, flap is in good condition underneath my suede. Underneath, I go inside and look how pretty. She is in great vintage condition, like I said. There's her tag right there. I've been wanting to see those on all of my bags, even though I know some of the vintage ones do not have that there and they're still authentic, but I wanna see that. I wanna see Dooney and Bork en engraved on the 
uh, hardware on the flip side. And I also want to see my duck, um, you know, uh, sewn through, meaning this is a sew through thing. If I get in here and take a look, oh, it's going to be in my back pocket. I'm going to look and see if my duck is sewn through. This is in great vintage condition, like I said. And as you heard me on my other videos, I like the fact that these have pockets right here, this coated vinyl, because you could carry this without carrying a wallet. And I think that that is like amazing, okay? I am going on vacation. I might wanna go ahead and bring this with me instead, okay? Because right now I'm using my Teton or Teton, which I'm going to go ahead and grab and put in this video. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I was doing a video the other day with the Teton or Teton and it was interrupted from my kids. Okay, so there you have my circle right there, my duck sewn through. Okay, one of the signs of authenticity, one of them, not the only um, one, but one of them. Okay. All right, so this is the Outback Saddlebag, and the strap is in great condition, the bag itself is in great condition, and I think I paid, I'm going to um, $40 for this one, guys. I believe this one was 40 bucks. Look at that. Very beautiful, classic color as well. So very, very beautiful. You stay right there, I'm gonna get my teeth. Okay, I typically don't like to do that, but I didn't have it ready. This is what I received the other day. And like I said, my video was interrupted, so I would like to go ahead and feature her here. Look at how drop, look at how drop dead. You guys, you can't get this variety anywhere. This is the Teton or the Teton drawstring. Um, as you can see, I've got the fringed leather down here. If this bothers you, what you do is you wet this a little bit, you literally like a baby wipe or something like that. And then you take um, little um, hair things and put it around it and let it let it sit there for a minute. The leather will reshape itself, okay? So no need to have them going every which way. I don't care, I'll fix it later. My duck is in amazing condition. I did go ahead and um, moisturize her because she had a couple scratches, but nothing you know it's use it's just regular use as you can see this is a cream bag i've got the chocolate finish at the top with the contrast like chestnut leather to um accent it oh my goodness and the braided detail so i moisturized this um because it was really really dry i moisturized it throughout here i did go ahead and baby wipe it and then once over with my leather cpr not a lot because as I told you, the process by making this that makes this uh, waterproof, I don't want to damage that. So I'm being careful. All right. Here on the side, if you guys remember my other video, you see that button? Some of the keychains come with a come with a, like a button. And I was wondering, like, where would you ever use that? And apparently that's where you would use it. If you notice here, my, my ring, I did clean it, but I was unable to get this off with a little scrubbing, like with a dry erase, uh, not a dry erase, a magic eraser with some Brasso, I could get that, but I decided I was um, gonna let it go for now. I will get it at another time. Here is my um, full brass duck um, hang tag here. The Teton or the Teton um, is adjustable and it is also a crossbody bag, but you can actually wear it. Look at that reinforced shoulder strap. This is kind of like my crescent bag, if you remember the crescent bag that I had the other day. Okay, on the inside is just the raw leather, and I have some things in there. You can't really see it, but it is beautiful. The suede interior is just drop dead, and it's chocolate at the top and a lighter color at the bottom. The bot, the inside of the bag did not have a lot of wear on it. That bag I paid $40 for. I think every single bag that you see of mine, 
I'm paying like $30 to $40 for them. I do venture off and get a $60 bag or a $60 item when it's exactly what I want. So I did order a little coin purse, black on black, all weather leather coin purse because I just had to have that coin purse. But this is, you know, a $30 item. And so is this, like 30 to 40 bucks, okay, is my, it's not my limit, but it's, it's where I'm comfortable spending the money because I change so often. All right, you guys, I'm going to go see why the kids are screaming. I'm also going to pack my bags for Atlanta. I hope that you enjoyed this video and reveal of these bags. And like I said, I'm going to continue with my vintage collection. So one day I'll show them all. But for right now, this is what I have. All right. You guys enjoy your night. Happy holiday to you. Please like and subscribe. Okay. Have a great day.